Stockton, California. It's the Scout National Showcase from June 26, 2013, the third and final game here in Stockton, California. The yellow team is in the field. Bianca Minor will be in the circle. Nicole Bailey will handle the catching duties. Taylor Mamola at first, Casillas at second, Sage Pye at shortstop, and Kayla Searcy at third base to round things out for the infield. In the outfield, Alexis Mettler in left, Bryn Burroughs to start in center field, and Kennedy Sir will start in right field. Carly Coughlin to lead things off for the red team. First pitch on the way. Miner gets strike one over, and we're underway here in game number three. This will be our final game of the afternoon. Oh, one pitch is taken on the outside corner for strike two. Bianca Miner showing what exactly she did back in May here at Arnett Stadium. Throwing a lot of strikes. 0-2 pitch misses wide of the zone. Miner able to throw a pretty good assortment of pitches in the strike zone. 1-2 pitch is lifted to center field. Brim Burroughs charging in, has it. And there's one out here in the top of the first. As you see with Burroughs, the outfielders here have a little bit of a challenge. The grass at Arnett Stadium has grown fairly high. So it's not a very quick track at all for the outfielder. So a lot of times what we've seen in our two visits here to Arnett Stadium is that the outfielders don't always get the breaks that you'd like to see from them just because of the thickness of the grass. It's a beautiful facility. Just a little bit slower track in the outfield than outfielders are used to. Sky Munoz the hitter. Swing and a miss. Munoz will make the start in the circle for the red team in the bottom of the first inning. Ground ball to third. Caleb Searcy picks up, fires a strike on the Mamola first base in time. And Searcy with an arm that's already in the upper 60s. Has plenty of arm to make that throw on the speedy Munoz on the slap. Searcy very impressive at third base. She was up to 61 miles per hour in the circle as well. Ashley Ramirez the hitter. Cole Bailey smothers the drop ball from Miner. One zero pitch, right over the heart of the plate for strike one. Sidney Trosel on deck who led off game number two with the home run for the red team. Ramirez hits that ball over the head of Mettler in left field. It gets to the wall and she'll be in easily in second base with a stand-up double. With an extremely hard hit line drive that sells over the head of Alexis Mettler in left field. Sydney Trost will hit with Ramirez at second base. Trost will homered in game number two in her first at bat. The leadoff hitter for the red team in that game. Bailey smothers it. But Ramirez is able to advance to third base without a throw. Fly ball, center field. That'll land in front of Burroughs. And Trosel puts the red team on top with an RBI single here in the top of the first. They take a one to nothing lead with two outs. That's probably a ball that Burroughs normally catches, but as we talked about earlier, not the fastest track for the outfielders to run on. And so all day we've seen just outfielders just be a step late on some place. Sarah Speck, the hitter. No 
pitch is lifted in the right field. It's in the gap. Burrows back to right center. Cuts it off before it reaches the wall. Trost will round third and she'll score without a throw. And three consecutive two out hits from the red team has them on top, two to nothing. Sarah Speck plates the second run of the afternoon for the red team. And here in game number three, and the red team is picking up exactly where they left off in game number two. Lazaria Wilson, the hitter. Dangerous first baseman. Wilson homered in her scout regional in Palmdale, California back in December of 2012. The last scout regional of 2012. Fly ball in the right field. Kennedy Sir comes up with and that'll end the inning. After a half inning, right on top, two to nothing. And it's yellow team coming up to bat. <laughs> we head to the bottom of the first. Sky Munoz will be in the circle for the red team. Hannah Russell will handle the catching duties as Ari Wilson at first. Sydney Trussell second base. Carly Coughlin to start at short. Perry Cole at third base. Anna Benson in left field. Ashley Ramirez in center and Sarah Speck in right field to round things off for the red team defensively. Alexis Mettler will lead off for the yellow team. First pitch from Munoz misses inside for ball one. One-0 pitch on the inside corner for strike one. Evens the count at one ball and a strike. One one pitch. Fly ball. Trussell goes back at the edge of the dirt. She secures it from one out. Kennedy Sir steps in. Pitcher out of Oregon. Made the start in right field for the yellow team in game number three. First pitch. That ball will hit her. Right in the side. And we'll give Kennedy a chance to catch her breath here and we'll let Monica Pasilla step in the bat with one out here in the bottom of the first. We certainly don't want to take an opportunity away from Kennedy Sir to swing the bat, so Casillas will step in with a brand new count. I'm not sure our red team's aware a batter has stepped into the plate or not. And something to notice here in game number three, just, just pay attention to the umpire crew we had in Stockton, California. One of the most enjoyable and just fun groups that we've been around. Obviously do their job very well. You'll see that here. Ground ball to second base past Trosa who was playing in on the slap. The shift or alignment backfires there on the red team and the CS is aboard with a one out single. But just pay attention to the umpires on a couple of plays that happened today that they're not afraid to let the kids know that they're doing a good job and really support the kids here. And just did a really nice job of making it a nice environment for the kids to play in. The CS takes off the second base. Coughlin puts a tag on her, not in time. Nice throw from Russell. Coughlin just a little tardy getting to the bag there. Just one of the byproducts of catchers and middle infielders playing together for the first time. Working on timing on plays like steal. Sir digs in. Swing and a miss. Hey, move her over, nine. Here we go. Here we go, Kennedy. 
Nice job of Kennedy Sir actually going back in the bat on the very next hitter. After being drilled in the ribs on the first pitch she saw. Count to sir. Payoff pitch on the way. It's popped off the screen. Count remains full at three and two. Munoz working down at the zone a little bit more than we saw her in Orange County back in April. Payoff pitch gets to the wall. Russell to throw to third. Colt puts the tag on to see us, but she slides to the back edge of the bag. And she's safe. Ball four resets the count for Kennedy, sir. Count goes to two, two and one. Anytime a player walks, the count will just reset to two and one. The player's hit by a pitch, as we saw earlier. It's just the ball. In the case of Kennedy, sir, and a few others we've seen, that if a player's hit hard enough, they can step on deck and then come back with a brand new count when they're ready. So the players aren't here to walk. They're here to swing the bat. Ground ball. It's foul. Hey, Cobra Kai, get out of here. Munoz not taking it easy on Kennedy Sir, keeps throwing the ball inside. Evil can evil. Fly ball to right field. Sarah Speck with a dive, she's got it. From the knees to throw to the plate. It won't be in time, but an outstanding play by Sarah Speck, the, the right fielder who's normally a first baseman. That's actually Speck's second diving catch of the afternoon in the second game. She made a diving catch as the umpire rolled that the ball came out of the glove. That the replay showed that the ball stayed in the glove, and so she'll get credit for this one. That'll be a sacrifice fly for Kennedy Sir, driving in the first run for the yellow team. Bianca Meyer, the hitter, first pitch swinging right back to the screen for strike one. <laughs> oh, one pitch. Popped up to right field. Speck takes three steps to the line. She secures it. And that'll end the first inning here. Right on top, two to one, as we head to the second at the Scout National Showcase. Hannah Russell will lead things off for the red team here in the top of the second. The red team taking a two-run lead in the top of the first with three consecutive two-out hits. Kennedy Sir able to pick up a run for the yellow team on a sacrifice fly that scored Monica Pasillas, who had singled and then stolen two bases. Russell, a 2017 catcher. Hey, you want your power right too? 2-1 pitch. Ground ball to short. Sage Pye with the backhand on the first base in time for the first out. Nice job by Sage Pye going to the backhand, making the accurate throw to Mamola at first base. And that play involves all three players here that actually play their high school ball here at Arnett Stadium. Pye, Mamola, and Russell. Perry Cole steps in from Oklahoma.
shortstop third baseman makes her way to RNS Stadium in Stockton, California from the Central Arkansas Regional back in March. She'll take the first pitch on the inside corner for strike one. Hey, hey Mark. Oh, one pitch on the way. Check swing, Miner picks it up. Fires at the first in time. Miner, who also plays second base and outfield for us today. Definitely quick enough to handle that check swing from Perry Cole. Tana Benson will step in with two outs here in the top of the second. Miner looking to avoid the, the two out work that she had last time. A little sky down the left field line. That'll reach the bullpen. Red team went double, single, double with two outs in the top of the first. We'll see what Benson does here. That's a fly ball. Center field Burroughs heads to the warning track. She'll catch it three steps in front of it. We'll head to the bottom of the second. Red still on top, two to one of the Scout National Showcase. What's the uh, flavor of the red? Is it supposed to be fruit punk? Or is it fruit punk. Huh. Bryn Burroughs to lead things off for the yellow team here in the bottom of the second inning. Burroughs was impressive in her first game of the afternoon. Get away. Here you go, Burroughs. Burroughs just narrowly missing a home run in her first at bat of the day, doubling off the center field fence. Munoz again showing that she's going to try to work inside in the, on the left-handed on the yellow team hitters. I'm sorry. Check swing. And there's two strikes to Burroughs. Two and two the count to Burroughs. Leading off things for the yellow team in the bottom of the second. Pitch from Munoz on the way. Rip. And right back to the screen with a foul ball. Russell and Munoz on the same page for the upcoming two ball, two strike pitch to Burroughs. I wasn't either. Fly ball left field. Ramirez with a dive and she's got it. And I tell you what, the stock of Ashley Ramirez is definitely going up today. We knew the kid could pitch. We knew she was one of the better 2014 left-handed arms still available in the United States, but she's coming today with four hits already. Now a diving catch in left field. Those were things that we didn't know she could do, but she's doing an outstanding job of showing that she's more of a complete player than a lot of pitchers are giving credit for. Sage Pye will step in, takes the first pitch low and inside for ball one. Sage Pye homered in the first game. He'll hit an opposite field shot to right center field. I will only be a ninth grader in the fall. Will definitely be one of the most highly recruited 2017s in the sport. 
Real pitch hits her. That's Munoz's second hit batter. Pie's gonna stay in there. Looks like she's just mad now. Not a not a hitter I'd want to pitch to. In an angry situation. I wouldn't want to do anything to Sage Pie to encourage her to swing the bat any harder. Count will reset the two and one after the hit by pitch. Three and one. She'll walk her again. Count will reset again to two balls and a strike. I should get a pitch to hit. She's not going anywhere until she does. Fouls that ball out of play to the right side. Had a good swing on it. This is where you really see the patience of a very young hitter. As the pitcher's working around her just a little bit, not chasing a pitch. If she'll be patient, she'll get a pitch to hit in this situation. Just underneath a couple of pitches on the outside corner there. Pie showing exceptional power to the opposite field so far. Well ahead of the curve on that. Fly ball, right side. Speck calls off Trossel. Two down for Kayla Searcy. One oh pitch on the way. This is inside. It's two and oh. And here we go, Kayla. Munoz starting to fall behind hitters now a little bit. <laughs> 2 0 -oh pitch. Yeah. Hammered the right field. It's over the head of Wilson. It takes one hop off the right field wall. Wilson will throw the ball back to second base, not in time, but an impressive throw from Missouri Wilson in right field. All the way, all around, great play. It started with the seriously nice piece of hitting to go to right field with that pitch. A line shot, one hop off the right field wall. And then the other prominent 2016 corner infielder at this event, Azari Wilson picks it up on a hop, fires a strike back to Perry Cole to show off her arm. Nicole Bailey steps in. Bailey swung the bat well so far today. Bailey's been impressive behind the plate. Received well, throwing well. Swinging the bat well right now. 0-1 pitch, driven to center field. You're scoring, you're scoring. Coughlin takes a few steps towards the gap, bobbles it. Seriously scores easily. And Nicole Bailey is able to tie things up for the yellow team with an RBI single with two outs. Nice line drive approach by Nicole Bailey. Taylor Mamola will be the hitter. Oh, you run out three. Here we go, Taylor. Yeah. She takes inside for ball. Here we go, three. 
Pitch driven to the 5 6 hole. And Mamola's aboard with the two out single. That moves Nicole Bailey up to second base. The yellow team still threatening with two outs here in the bottom of the second. Mamola, who had her hand stepped on in the first game at first base. Diving back into the bag had part of her finger torn up. Pretty nasty injury, but she's playing through it. Swinging the bat well, obviously. I guess it depends on. Casey Herleman will bat. Two outs, runners at first and second. Are you wise right now, kid? First pitch on the way. Good eye. Russell scoops it up. Because it might break up better one way or the other. Here we go, Casey. Here we go, Casey. And that's really what Munoz has to do. She has to attack hitters with that pitch. Go to the curveball. She's had some really good hitters come up empty on that pitch so far. So having confidence in your best stuff and challenging hitters is always a good thing. 1-1 pitch line to second base. Trostle's got it and that'll end the inning. The yellow team able to tie things up. So we head to the third. We're tied at two apiece from the Scout National Showcase. Alexis Mettler on the pitch for the yellow team as we go to the top of the third inning. Tied it to a piece. Red team back to the top of the lineup with Cardi Coughlin who flew out to center field in her first at bat. Mm -hmm. One pitch. Grab ball to third. Searcy across to Herleman in time. There's one out here in the top of the third. A really nice look at the arm of Kayla Searcy there. Quite simply, a difference maker with the arm. Able to throw from multiple angles. Sky Munoz will step in. She pitched the first two innings for the red team. She grounded out to the third baseman of her first at bat. Back of the first inning. Probably a smart idea for the left-handed hitting right-handed pitcher. Sky Munoz to wear the armor on the right elbow. Miller just misses a drop on the outside corner. Now resets the two balls and a strike after the walk to Munoz. Swing and a miss. Count even at two balls and two strikes. Two two pitch misses up and inside. Count runs full. Here we go, Lex. 
Count resets again for Munoz. With two balls and a strike. It's outside for ball three. Good job with Sage Pie coming in just to give Mettler a little bit more confidence. Just from Miner, she's got an incredible defense behind her up the middle. Good job of Mettler coming back and challenging Munoz here. And in these situations, we tell pitchers that we want to see your best stuff in the strike zone to see if it can get out quality hitters. Obviously easier said than done sometimes. And when catchers, are pit catchers and pitchers are working together for the first time, that makes it a little bit more difficult. But overall, pitchers having confidence in their stuff is always important. Ground ball to the left side. Seriously backhands it on the first base, but it's foul. And that's exactly why young players should always make that play in a showcase situation. Two things about an infielder throwing a foul ball. One, foul ball requires more range to catch than a fair ball. And two, it requires more arm strength to make a longer throw. So you're able to show those two things off on a play that obviously doesn't really matter to the game because it's a foul ball and it's a strike. But for an infielder in a showcase situation, that can be a difference maker, and I hope it is for players. You can't always count on a ball being hit to you, getting a pitch to hit, but there's several other things you can do when given the opportunity, and we don't want to pass up on those. Fly ball down the right field line. Sir Miner and Hurleman chase after, but they can't get to it. It's in the bullpen. Munoz setting the record for the longest at bat in a scout event. And the record will continue. This has to be a mental challenge for both pitcher and hitter at this point. Munoz hanging tough. Slap. Pass the diving Sage Pie. That'll be an infield hit for Sky Munoz after a, a bat that spans several minutes long. Munoz aboard with a one out infield single. And Ashley Ramirez will be the hitter who doubled and scored a run in her first at bat. Hit a hard shot over the left fielder's head. Pick off back to first, not in time. Nicole Bailey being active behind the plate. Well hit ball to center field. The CS goes after, she can't get it. It's to the wall. Throw cut by Sage Pye at shortstop. Munoz holds up at third base. And that's a one out double for Ramirez, her second double and her second at bat. Is that eight of them? And as we talked about a little bit earlier, the, the field conditions here with the thick grass, it didn't look like Pasillas was able to get a really good break on it to get back on that ball. It's a ball that Pasillas normally probably catches. 
Sidney Trossel the hitter. Trussell's one for one with an RBI back in the first inning. First pitch back to Mettler. Back to Searcy. And an ending, ending, ending double play. Went to the bottom of the third. Still tied it to a piece. Alexis Medler ended top half of the third inning with a double play ball. She'll start things off here against new pitcher Carly Coughlin for the red team. Bottom of the third. First pitch swinging. Pop up. Perry Cole drifting back. Hits off the hill of the glove. That'll go as an error. And Medler's aboard with a reach on air. Kennedy, sir, will be the hitter. First pitch swinging. Ball lands in front of Munoz in center field, and there's two runners aboard to start things off for the yellow team here in the bottom of the third. Sir able to dump that single in front of Munoz. And Sir's aboard after her first at bat where she had a sacrifice fly in the right field. Where Sarah Speck made a nice diving catch. Monica Pasillas to hit her single in her first at bat. Single score to run, ground ball to second base, Trossel. The third base not in time. Trussell trying to shoot down the lead runner. Not a bad idea, just a, just a half step late getting there. The bases are loaded. And Coughlin finds herself in a bases loaded, no out situation in an inning that... Fly ball in the right field. Sarah Speck gets the ball lost in the sun on the home. Russell not able to get back to the plate in time. And the yellow team takes a three to two lead. That ball just get caught up in the sun for Sarah Speck. She couldn't see it. She had to back off at the last second. That'll go as an RBI single for Miner. That ball is lost in the sun. And instead of that being the third out of the inning after the fourth batter, Coughlin's still looking at no outs, bases loaded. Oh. Double play ball to second base. That's exactly what Coughlin needed to happen right there. After the red team seemingly giving away the first three outs to the yellow team, Sidney Trostle able to come up big right there on the Bryn Burroughs line drive. Record two outs. Sage Pye the hitter, runners at second to third. Coughlin now has to go through a part of the order with the Burroughs, Pye, Searcy, Bailey. Four hitters who have been on fire all day today. She's got past Burroughs with, two, with a double play ball. Change up misses outside to Sage Pye. Fly ball to center field. This should end the inning. That ball hits off of Munoz. And that'll score two runs. As Sir and Pasillas are able to score on the air to Munoz in center field. As we've talked about all day, we do have outfielders that are normally pitchers or corner infielders or something else besides an outfielder. Playing a lot of outfield today because this event's predominantly made up of primary infielders and pitchers and catchers. Line drive up the middle. And Searcy's aboard for the second time in the game. Oh, 
Red team so far has had about six opportunities to record out. Coughlin battling through it. Really hasn't made any bad pitches. Nicole Bailey, the hitter. RBI single her first at bat. Fouls that ball off of Hannah Russell behind the plate. <laughs> Looks like Russell's okay. Line drive in the center field. Munoz will scoop it up, throw to the plate. Not in time, that ball gets past Hannah Russell. Sage Pye will score on the RBI single from Nicole Bailey. She'll advance to second base. Searcy the third. And Nicole Bailey's two for two with, an RB, with two RBIs in her first two at bats. Taylor Mamola will step in. Singled in her first at bat in between short and third. Hard ground ball to the left side. Takes the change up outside for ball one. Mamola definitely not providing any let up in this yellow team offense. They just keep coming. Power hitting right handed batter one after the other. Count to Bamola. Line drive, left center field. Munoz rounds it. The throw will come into second base, and that's a two out, two RBI single by Taylor Bamola. And the yellow team takes an eight to two lead. Casey Herleman will be the batter. She lined out the second base in her first at bat in the bottom of the second. Coughlin not giving up a lot of earn runs here, but still trying to make a pitch to get out of it. Pick off back to first base, not in time. Nice throw by Russell, nice tag by Wilson. Ramola has to hold her breath every time she goes back into first base right now, hoping not to get the finger stepped on. 1-1 one, one pitch on the outside corner for strike two. One, two pitch. Grab ball back to the circle. Coffin will take it herself. And that'll finish things up for the third inning. Yellow team had six runs on a couple of red team errors, and we'll head to the fourth inning. Eight to two yellow. Sarah Speck to lead it off for the red team here in the top of the fourth inning. Red team has a little bit of work to do after giving up six in the bottom of the third. Mettler back on the pitch for the yellow team. First pitch swinging Speck fouls that ball off to the screen.
Rebound ball. Backhand played by Miner on the first in time. Zaria Wilson will step in for the red team. Wilson 0 for 1. She flew out to right field at her first at bat. Swings through the first pitch from Metler. 0 and 1. to the count to Wilson. One out here in the top of the fourth. Hops over the another screwball it looked like. Two pitch on the way. Ah! Fouled out of play. And off to play a little bit. Hey, we got one down, got one. Yeah, you. out of play again. It's been just a matter of inches today for pitchers. It's been a lot of hits in this event, but a lot of good job of hitters by just fouling pitches off. Line drive to third, seriously takes it. There's two outs. It just seems like the pitchers in today's event have been very close to pitching out of trouble and just at times haven't made the pitches they needed to get out of certain situations. Kayla Sears, she's done a fine job at third base and in the circle today so far. Hannah Russell's the hitter. She grounded out the shortstop back in the second inning. Sage Pye made a nice backhand play on Russell, who will be our high school teammate in the fall when they both start the ninth grade. Hard to believe that players of that skill level will just be incoming freshmen. 0 oh, 1 pitch on the way to Russell. Nice frame by Nicole Bailey, but not able to get the call for Alexis Mettler. Hey, we got two, we got two. Ball misses low and inside. Mrs. Lowe. Fly ball, third base. Seriously calls it. 
She'll take it. That'll take us to the bottom of the fourth. The yellow team still on top, eight to two, from the Scout National Showcase. Mettler leading things off for the yellow team in the bottom of the fourth. Ashley Ramirez on the pitch. Ramirez up to 60 miles per hour in Stockton. Nice looking curveball. Able to throw it to both sides of the plate. like the increase in velocity that Ramirez is showing the yellow team thus far is creating some late swings by Mettler. We'll see if that pattern holds true for the rest of the lineup. Just misses the outside corner. Looks like that pitch may have wrapped around the plate a little bit. Medler takes another late swing. Fly ball right field. Wilson towards the line, takes it. Able to handle the sun pretty well there. We've seen some outfielders already have some issues with the sun. No problem for Wilson. There's one down here in the bottom of the fourth. Kennedy Sir will be the hitter. One for one with the sack fly back in the first with an RBI. Singleton scored a run back in the third inning. She'll bat with nobody aboard and one out here in the bottom of the fourth. First pitch swinging, fouled off to the right side. Oh, one pitch. Ground ball second base, Trostle picks it up on a hop. There's two outs in the bottom of the fourth. Monica Pasillas will step in. She scored two runs. One for two. Single to first at bat. Fielder's choice for second at bat. Show slap. Count evens at a ball and a strike apiece. Drive into center field in front of Munoz. 
And Pasillas is now two for three here in game number three. Casillas beginning to make her case for All-American this year. Bianca Miner steps in. One for two with an RBI single her last at bat. Casillas takes off, nobody home at second base. Hannah Russell making a perfect throw to second base, just Perry Cole not able to get there in time. Pitches over the middle of the plate for strike one. Here we go, Bianca. One one pitch. Strike two. Check swing. She went. That'll finish things up here for the fourth. We head to the fifth. Yellow still on top, eight to two from Stockton, California. Kennedy, sir, on the pitch for the yellow team here in the top of the fifth inning. This will be sir's first inning of work here in game number three. Perry Cole to lead things off for the red team. We'll play seven innings here in game number three. Hey, here we go, Tate. Cole grounded out to the pitcher in her first at bat. She'll lead things off for the red team here in the top of the fifth inning. Not a bad pitch. Sage Pye behind the plate for the yellow team now. She'll move from the shortstop position to the catching spot. Kennedy will feature a drop ball. Did a nice job with the drop ball back in game number one. Ground ball, third base, Searcy on the run. Not in time. The case of hit them where they ain't right there from Perry Cole. They get a really good look at Kayla Searcy throwing that ball on the run. Making a high level secondary play. Dana Benson steps in. Benson flew out to center field her first at bat. Oh, one pitch. Ground ball to short from six to four to three in time for a double play. Minor Pasilas and Hurleyman combined for the 6-4-3 double play ball. And there's two outs here and the bases are cleared for Kennedy Sir here in the top of the fifth inning. Carly Coffin will step in the hit. She'll take on the outside corner for strike one. And Kennedy serves high, definitely a factor in how well that drop ball works and the plane that it creates. Those are the curve ball there, Mrs. Hine outside. Sir out of Oregon. Yeah. 
Only our second player that we've had an event out of Oregon. Ground ball. Searcy cuts it off at third base on the first in time. And three up, three down for the yellow team. Well, it's to the bottom of the fifth. Yellow on top, eight to two from Stockton. Bryn Burroughs will lead it off for the yellow team in the bottom of the fifth. Charlie Coughlin back in the circle. First pitch over for strike one. Hannah Russell behind the plate. She's not going anywhere. She's the only catcher on the red team today. Here we go, Brent. Here we go, Sid. Oh, one pitch. Change up in the dirt. Nice block by Hannah Russell behind the plate. Here we go, Sid. That ball hits her. It's the second time that Bryn Burroughs has been hit by a pitch in this game. I think with all the eyes, Ground ball back to the circle. Coughlin bobbles it, picks it up, throws it the first in time. There's one out in the bottom of the fifth. Sage Pye will step in. Pye is 0 for 2, scored a run after reaching on an error back in the third inning. First pitch swinging, fouls that pitch off. That ball's ripped in the right center field. It's deep. It's off the top of the wall. Sage Pye will be in the second base standing up with a double. And she just missed her second home run of the day by about four inches. If that ball would have gone three feet to the left, it would have cleared center field again. I think that ball is actually better hit than her first home run of the day. And you see an example there why Division One schools are going to line up to recruit this kid over the next few years. Kayla Searcy, the hitter. Hey, here we go, A. Are you Kayla? Searcy's doubled and singled, scored two runs today. Two for two here in game number three. Pitch will back her off the plate. Nice block by Hannah Russell. Ground ball up the middle. That hits the second base bag. Munoz to throw to the plate. It's cut by Coughlin in the circle. Sage Pye scores. And Kayla Sears is now three for three with her second single of the game in her first RBI. Nicole Bailey will step in with Searcy at first base. Bailey's two for two, two singles, two RBIs, and scored a run. It's caught just about every inning for the yellow team today. Pick off the first, not in time. Fly ball. 
You almost had it too. Yeah. Sarah Speck off her glove. Munoz back to second base. Seriously had to hold up the first base thinking that ball was going to be caught. How to go as a fielder's choice. And Nicole Bailey's at first base with two outs. Taylor Mamola, the hitter, she's two for two with a couple of RBIs. Tough to find a hitter in this part of the order that doesn't have a couple of hits. Ground ball to third base. Wilson on the backhand on the first. Pulls Ramirez off the bag. She can't hang on to the bag. And Nicole Bailey will head over to third base. I have to apologize to Nicole Bailey that in game number one, she was being called Nicole Gibson, but we'll take all of the good things we said about Nicole Gibson and apply those directly to Nicole Bailey because that's the real Nicole. Runners at the corners for Casey Herleman. First pitch swing grounds that ball to short. Goes between the legs of Perry Cole. The run will score. And Mamola's tagged out trying to advance to third base. After five of the books, yellow on top, 10 to two. So we head to the sixth inning. We head to the top of the sixth here in Stockton, California. Sky Munoz to lead it off against Kennedy, sir. Sir will be in her second inning of work. She faced three batters in the fifth inning. Kennedy, sir, showing that the draw ball is a fantastic pitch so far. All day long, she's been able to command the drop. Been able to get ground balls. This is low and outside. Sage Pie behind the plate, catching Kennedy, sir. Munoz is one for two on the afternoon. Mom or dad, mate. Count runs three and one to Munoz. Or excuse me, resets to two and one after the walk. Munoz shows slap. Bouncing ball foul. Yeah, I'm not bringing it up. Munoz and Sage Pie trying to get on the same page here with the two and two count. It'll definitely be interesting to see where Sage Pie ends up defensively. Right now she's so young it's really hard to tell where the arm strength's going to be. What position will fit best. And Kennedy Sir paints the outside corner for strike three on Sky Munoz. That'll bring up Ashley Ramirez. Two doubles so far here in game number three. Scored a run in the first, Ola Bates in the first as well. Ramirez has had one of the best days so far. Making a really nice diving catch in left field to rob Bryn Burroughs of a hit earlier in the in game three. Again, this event so far for Ramirez has been showing that she's really a complete player, not just a pitcher. With a handful of hits today so far through two games. Oh, one pitch. Rip down the line. Foul. And there's nothing a pitcher can throw over the plate right now that Ashley Ramirez doesn't feel like she can hit. And she has very good reason to believe that as well. Oh, and to the count. Rise ball misses. Not a bad call by Sage Pie in that situation. Anytime you have a hitter who's feeling really good at the plate, not a bad idea to challenge your confidence and go out of the zone just a little bit. Change up, popped up. Kayla Searcy calls for it at third base. She's got it. There's two outs. <laughs> nice 
Okay, the Sears to third base already involved in five defensive outs today in this game alone. Sidney Trostle steps in. RBI single in the first inning. Scored the second run for the red team. One for three on the afternoon. Or excuse me, one for two in game three. She homered in her first bat. On the bottom of the first in game number two. Grab ball to third. It's Kayla Searcy again. Throws a strike to Herleman. We'll head to the bottom of the sixth. Yellow still on top, 10 to 2 from Stockton, California. Mettler to lead off the bottom of the six for the yellow team. Holding on to an eight run lead in the bottom of the six. Fly ball in the right field. Azari Wilson with the basket catch on the line. She's done that a couple of times today already. And the first base that makes it look really easy in right field. Wilson being, being able to show off some versatility today. She made a really nice play on the Kayla Searcy double earlier in the game. To be able to play the ball off the wall and throw a strike into second base. Kennedy Sir, the hitter. She takes the first pitch outside for ball one. Kennedy Sir, one for two so far today. Sacrifice fly in the first inning. Singled and scored a run in the third, grounded out to second base in the fourth. She'll run that ball to first base. Sarah Speck can't pick it up. That'll go as an error. Like Speck was just trying to find the bag at the same time that she was catching the ball. Uncharacteristic play for the normally sure handed Sarah Speck, who's made a couple of really nice diving plays in the outfield so far today. Monica Pasillas will step in. She's two for three, two singles, three stolen bases, scored a run in the first. She'll slap. Take strike one on the outside corner from Ramirez. Oh, one pitch. Just misses on the outside corner. Runs the count even at a ball and a strike. Kennedy Sir, the runner at first base. Bouncing ball. It's back to first base, not in time. And Pasilla is able to beat that out with just good raw speed. Bianca Miner steps in. One for three. RBI single in the third inning for Miner. Pops that first pitch out of play. Struck out her last at bat. We've seen a couple of times a day already when Ramirez steps in that her velocity at 60 miles per hour just a, enough of a difference to make some of the hitters late on her. 0-2 pitch on the way to Miner. Pretty good pitch but misses out of the zone high and inside. Strike three called on the outside corner, and there's two down here in the bottom of the six. Yeah, 
Ramirez, the only pitcher on the red team this game to strike out a batter. She's got two strikeouts. Bryn Burroughs to step in. Had a little bad luck in this game. And she's hit by the third ball of this game alone. She'll take a look at that one. I don't blame her. Pitches in for strike one. Burrow's over three this game, but that doesn't really tell the whole story. Ashley Ramirez made a diving catch on a sure double in left field earlier on Burrow's. Lined out to second base in the third inning. It ended up being a double play ball on a hard hit ball. One and two the count to Burroughs. What about old girl? Kennedy Sir, the runner at second base. Monica Pasillas at first. Sir reached on an air. Pasillas singled. Pasillas now three for four on the afternoon. One two pitch. High fly ball into left field. Tana Vincent goes back, makes the catch, and that'll do it for the sixth inning. We'll head to the seventh and final inning from Stockton, 10 to 2 yellow. Kayla Searcy to take the ball for the yellow team here in the top of the seventh. So it'll be our red team's final at bat. Two runs on six hits so far today. Sarah Speck will lead it off. Speck's one for two with an RBI double in the first inning. Speck's made a couple of the best plays in the outfield so far today with two diving catches in right field. First pitch on the way from Searcy. Foul off the end of the bat. Ground ball to short on the changeup. Sage Pie picks up, throws a strike, and there's one out. Searcy, who was very effective in game one, picking up right where she left off here in game three. Searcy is such an interesting prospect because of the ability to pitch, plus Big time power potential at third base with a big arm, big bat. Azari Wilson steps in, pops that pitch out of play to the right side. And you gotta love the knowledge of the California softball fan knowing that a parent should have made that play. Obviously an intelligent softball crowd. Ball's thrown behind Wilson. Seriously not sure what happened there. Should get a look at Taylor Mamola in the injury to her right hand, just playing through it. Not every kid will do that for you, but. Bouncing ball to short. Sage Pie on the run. Kenny Sir drops the ball and can't pick it up in time. That'll go as an error on the first baseman. Nice running throw by Sage Pye there. And what Sage Pye's done today is really show her ability to make secondary plays. As we talked about last inning, when the yellow team was on defense, Pye just such an interesting defensive prospect because there's so many possibilities. Hannah Russell, the hitter, will take ball one in the dirt. Nice throw by Nicole Bailey behind the plate. Wilson able to get back ahead of the tag. Hannah Russell's 0 for 2. Grounded out to short in the second. Pull out to third base in the fourth. Nice block again by Nicole Bailey. Swings 
Swing and a miss. Pick off the first. Wilson will head to second base. You wonder in that situation if Wilson picked off something that Nicole Bailey was doing before she would pick off each time and read that and just took off. Two strikes on Russell. Fly ball. Pasillas can't get it. Looked like Pasillas made the choice to die for that ball instead of trying to pick an in-between hop. Not a bad decision, just didn't come up with it. With the die, that's going to go as an infield hit. And runners are at the corners now as Perry Cole steps in for the red team here in the top of the seventh. Only two outs to work with, and they need eight to make it interesting. Cole's one for two. Singled back in the fifth. It's that first pitch off the end of the bat. It's foul. One pitch on the way. Swing and a miss. Bailey thought about making a pick off the first base. And that's why we have the rule here in the situation with runners at first and third that we don't want the runner from third to simply be able to walk home and not see Perry Cole hit with the runner at third base here. So we outlaw stealing home plate so that we leave the double play intact so that the runner at first doesn't think she's got a free pass to second base. This really frees the catchers up to do a lot of different things. Frees up the infield to not have to worry about first and third defensive situations with a second baseman or shortstop they've never played with before or a catcher they've never played with before. Fly ball into center field. To see us another dive can't come up with it. And that'll be an RBI single for Perry Cole. As she'll trim the yellow team's lead down to seven runs. Making it 10 to three yellow on top of red. Tana Benson will step in. 0 for 2, grounded into a 6-4-3 double player last at bat. Takes the first pitch on the inside corner, four strike one. Benson, a young third base pitching prospect. Looks like she's gonna swing the bat very well though. Good rhythm at the plate. And that's a heck of a block right there by Nicole Bailey. I know I'm stating the obvious there, but she's done it all day long, folks. And it's one thing to come into a situation where you're catching a pitcher that's throwing 54, 55 and blocking a drop ball that you've never seen before compared to Kayla Searcy throwing a screwball in the right-handed batter's box and be able to get in front of 61 miles per hour there. Seriously hasn't done that at all today, hardly, but the one time she did it, Nicole Bailey was right there. Swing and a miss. And they've got Perry Cole to run now. Kenny Sir drops the ball back to third base. The runners will advance to second and third. And a heads up play by Nicole Bailey in that situation to to try to pick off the first base after the strikeout of Tana Benson. A really intelligent play by Nicole Bailey behind the plate in that situation. And obviously if the yellow team's able to execute, it gets them out of the inning. Carly Coughlin to hit. Coughlin 0 for 3 in this game. She's grounded out to third base twice. Flew out to center field. Ground ball through the left side. That'll score Wilson to throw to the plate. And Nicole Bailey puts on another catching display. That'll be it for the red team at the top of the seventh. The yellow team will bat one more time when we return. We head to the bottom of the seventh. 
The yellow team will win the game, but they'll have one more at bat. Sage Pye will lead things off. Sage Pye almost hit her second home run of the day in her last at bat. As she drilled a double off the right center field wall. Tana Benson in the circle. Nice block by Hannah Russell. And before we wrap this game up, we really want to thank John Furman and his staff here at Arnett Stadium for their hospitality. For them allowing us to come in twice this year to conduct scouting events. We'll definitely be back several times in the near future. So again, just a big thanks to John Furman and his staff at Arnett Stadium for Oh, nice pick up by Wilson off the ricochet there. But Again, we can't thank John Furman and his staff enough for having us here. And, and for Northern California to really accept what Scout's bringing to the table and helping young ladies out and play college softball. And we're especially very appreciative of their efforts and willingness to try something a little different. Obviously, as we talk about the, the differences here and what these young ladies have done in the past compared to what they're able to accomplish today, let's think about a player like Sage Pye. Ground ball up the middle. Backhand by Trostle on the first base in time for the first out. But a player like Sage Pye, as an example, comes to a scout regional event back in May. Has a good showing at shortstop, hits well in BP. Swung the bat pretty good in her game. But today, Sage Pye is able to come out and make a nice backhanded play at shortstop to get out of speedy running. Makes a really solid play on the run from shortstop. Kayla Searcy will dig in. She's three for three today so far. And Sage Pye able to now showcase behind the plate. Handful of hits for Sage Pye. A double, a home run. And the fact that that footage is there. Ground ball through the left side. Perry Cole on the backhand. Wilson drops it at first. She would have beaten it out, though. So that goes an infield hit. And Searcy is now four for four. But the idea for a player like Sage Pye to be able to have these moments today live on forever and be accessible by coaches at any time is a huge deal for her. Very easily she could have hit a home run last weekend at a tournament. Nobody saw it. And nobody knows about it. Ground ball up the middle. Sydney Trostle puts the tag on Searcy on the first in time. And that'll end the game. Yellow team takes it on 10 runs with 14 hits, one error. Red team four runs on nine hits. They commit five errors. That'll wrap things up for the Stockton, California National Showcase. I'm Mark Mulvaney saying thanks for watching at scoutsoftball.com. Again, a special thanks to John Furman and his staff here at Arnett Stadium and our umpiring crew today, and especially the young ladies who made this event possible. Make sure you watch the other two games for this event and other scout national events throughout the summer. I'm Mark Mulvaney. We'll see you next time. All right, red team, one, three. One, two, three. Red team.